Capricorn, welcome back to Why Enigma. This is Enigma. We're going to do your March 22nd, 21 reads. Let's see the messages for you. This is going to be a general reading, so take what resonates with you, what does not resonate. For more personals, I'm available on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. Details are given down below. Also, do I pray for spells for your highest good? We've just started up. Another spell, which is card cutting, moving on spell. And other than that, I do high vibrational charging of the crystals before I give it to you. You can book that as well. And do follow my Instagram to stay connected. Do like, share, uh, comment and subscribe to this video in the end. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to stay connected. And so that I can receive your energy for your reads, Capricorn. <clears throat> the major message for you out there, Capricorn, is there is a new beginning, an adventurous new beginning, an, an amazing new start is coming into your life. And your dreams are becoming reality. I feel like right now, whatever is coming for you is coming in your benefit to give you what you want. Exactly. You will become extremely passionate about your desires, about your goals. But you might be resisting this, Capricorn. I feel like you're a little resistant to change these days. And you want to preserve your energy or trusting in anyone is kind of like making you feel a little nauseatic. I feel like right now you uh, are a little insecure of opening up because you don't want to end up trusting the wrong person. The good news for you is that there's someone that has an eye on you. This person could be very wealthy, someone that's extremely kind, loving, caring, a noble soul. But I feel like this person earns a lot of money or they hire people, okay? This person makes, uh, they have a good fortune. This person has a good reputation. I feel you will be meeting this person. You've met this person while traveling. Things are just going to get um, more fiery between you guys, okay? You guys, I'm feeling like this person started to open you up and you have accepted or started embracing this person in your life. You're walking away from cold situation. You're walking away from disappointments in love. You're walking away from negative people. You're walking away from a heartache. I feel like you're ready to date afresh. This new person is actually going to take all of your attention because this new love is definitely wanting to take things on a deeper level, I feel. Capricorn. What else do I have here for you? Okay, let's see. There you go. They're going to do something that makes you feel super special. You guys will talk a lot, I'm sensing. This person could be a famous person or is in public eye. That's something that I can sense here. I feel when you're enjoying your life or when this person comes into your life, you'll start to enjoy life like never before. Your, your whole life is going to change, I feel. <clears throat> There's something that's coming between you and this person. Yeah, there's a third party here. Yeah, I can sense there's a third party that's coming between you and this person here. Libra, German, Aquarius. Oh, it's an ex that is interfering. Mm -hmm. I feel like right now you still have this energy of um, control. Like you're trying to not fall in love. I feel like you're trying too hard to not fall in love. And that might cause a big blockage between you and this new love that wants to be a part of your life. So it's you who needs to do some work to get off that feeling of I'm enough or I don't want love or I don't trust this person. You're not able to manage two things. I feel like you're very focused about your career. Your mental peace is something that you want right now. And you do want this person, but you are not fully coming open to this. Okay. I'm seeing that this person wouldn't stick around for a long period of time if you do not pay attention to them or if you do not give them a chance. Because this person has been waiting and they're getting like 
they're getting tired of feeding. They might be getting this feeling that you are not interested. I feel like you're trying to control your heart because you have been hurt in the past. So you're sensitive, you're emotional, you still have past feelings that hurt you. Yeah, you're still trying to get over something from the past that still hurts you. Okay, Capricorn. Okay. What you don't see coming. There's a lot of stability that's coming into your life. Mental uh, stability is coming into your life. And I'm definitely seeing that this is someone that you might regret losing later on. They are looking for a commitment. They're looking to go with someone for the rest of their life to, you know, spend time and be loyal. I feel like you're attracting someone extremely loyal. Taurus energy, very grounded, successful, has a good job, permanent job. I feel like this, this is someone that might be a loyal or a real estate, but I'm definitely seeing that this is someone that looks for marriage. I feel like there's someone that is definitely looking for marriage here. Libra, they see you as perfect for them, but the only thing that is blocking this connection is you not getting rid of the hurt or the past. It's still somewhere like keeping you confused or in two minds. You need to take a leap of faith and trust this person because you will realize that this is your dream come true. This is uh, this is the one that's meant to be in your life, that, that's meant to be a part of your life. Yeah, you're finding it a little difficult to come out of it. I'm also seeing you're taking a lot of stress, unnecessary stress, okay? You may have this deep fear of opening up. Maybe this is an Aquarius. I feel like there's deep fear of opening up, okay? But this is your soulmate because the king and the queen of pentacles, you guys are going to rock together. I feel like you guys are going to be such support system to each other that money will grow. Everything is going amazing, multiplying wealth. You guys will become a power couple. You guys will make a lot of money and so is your person rich. So you guys are meant to be together. It's time for you to... Put an end to the past, to put an end to this thought process that you're having right now. And it requires a deep mental strength to make this decision to have a new chapter all together in your life on, and let go of the past, let go of someone that you're still stuck on somewhere. Maybe you're still stuck on the past person that is Pisces or a, or a Leo. I feel like you're dealing with someone that was married or that was older than you. Very bossy, dominating. You want to let go of that. But finding it hard because this person is on and off. And now this is stressing you out. Okay. Could be an Aries or a Cancer that's not leaving your side. And then we have the Empress and the Knight of Cups. This person is not wasting any time. I feel like they're going to come towards you, the marriage proposal. You might get a marriage proposal from the past person, surprisingly, that you should, you may not need to, you, you know, entertain, I feel. A marriage proposal from the past person is something, yeah, see, there's this past person trying to come back with a marriage proposal, which I think is going to be really tough for you because this person is coming with this <coughs> dishonest act or you know, skepticism of them hurting you once again. So you might feel this rejection again because once you're in their control, they'll do the same thing what they did in the past. So that might be an important message for you, Capricorn, because you cannot trust this person is deceptive. So, yeah, that is why you're stuck. That is why you're not able to make a decision. Anything else on my Capricorn? Yeah, see? I feel that is why you're feeling hung up and you're feeling overtly emotional. I wish I could change things or things could have been different. Yeah, I feel like your past person is very on and off and they're not letting you go and now they're coming towards you with marriage proposal, but don't fall for it. That's something that I would say. You still are interested in this person you still have feelings that is causing all the major block in your life and resisting you from meeting the one that you're meant to be with you're meant to be with
your soulmate. So yeah, I'm definitely seeing that this past person is trying to come closer to you and wants to take it forward towards marriage, but is not coming with pure intentions, you see. Oh, see, I was telling you, the chemistry is still there, but it's time for you to release because this person is on and off. Love yourself first. Be true to yourself. Is, is this person giving you that respect that you're looking for? No, then it's meant for separation. I'm not seeing this being an honest connection because this is deception, okay? Getting to know each other. You guys still don't know this person. No matter how much you guys have met or talk to each other or spend time together, you still feel like you don't know this person completely. Who is coming towards my Capricorn? Please tell me more about that. Unexpected. Yeah, I feel like this person could be a lawyer or working with law, chartered accountancy or stuff like that. Works with money, finance, investments. I feel that's the kind of a person that's coming in or they give jobs. Okay, they work for the welfare of community, society, nation in general. This person does a lot of work. I feel like they're noble soul. As I was telling you, this person is work-oriented. They've made a lot of name in a short period of time. I feel like this is someone that has made a huge name in a shortest period of time, Capricorn. There you go. Angel of balance. This person will come to your life like an angel because they will balance you out and bring that confidence back that you feel you've lost because of your past person. You might need a citrine for growth of your finances. I feel like this is someone that you might meet in a place where you are studying or this is someone that could be a teacher or kind of like very knowledgeable into academics and stuff like that. I feel that's how you will be meeting this person. So you might come to this person or visit or meet this person regarding some work. I feel getting the knowledge or an advice. They could be a doctor for some of you. Could be like that. Libra energy. They're highly intuitive. That's what I'm seeing. I feel like with this person, you'll realize what true love is. They will make you feel... You're the only one in the world that makes them happy. They will love everybody that is involved in your life. They're respectful. I feel it's time for you to start focusing on the people that really want you, that really want you to be happy. Because you may be ignoring all those people that want your time and attention for this one particular person. So, pakaram patukap. I feel like you are becoming a love magnet here. Someone is getting magnetized towards you super fast. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to attract love in your life. Probably in Aries. It's time for you to kick the past person and start moving ahead with self-respect. Because I feel like there is an ending, final ending with the past person starting to take place. With this ending, you'll feel like you freed yourself from drama, toxicity. And now you can focus on yourself. Now you can focus on your life, a new beginning. So you started to feel energetic, more energetic. With this, you have this new person coming into your life. Okay. Okay. I seek some advice here. have bring a gentle touch no matter who treats you like what you should be gentle towards yourself first i feel like everything is going to start to feel lighter when you start being light on yourself okay because you're transforming becoming more happy and beautiful i feel like this new person is going to bring about a major change in the way you see yourself that's something that i'm seeing here Butterfly effect by Travis can hear that song pretty much relate to this. What are the signs coming in? Okay, these are some signs. We have a lot of signs. Oh, we have Scorpio coming in. We have Taurus coming in. Check out my Scorpio channel if you're Scorpio or dealing with one. Pisces is coming in. Libra is coming in. Aries is coming in. Oh, Pisces is really strong here. 
someone definitely feels, I feel like someone is definitely dreaming and thinking or about you. Now we'll be seeing from Aries to Pisces, what does your person think and feel about you? Aries wants a new beginning and they feel like this is a promise of lifetime. They want to give you that promise of lifetime. Taurus is too orthodoxy or super, you know, suspicious of things. Not good. The Gemini is wanting to take things forward towards deep commitment. They want to enjoy life with you. The Cancer person is very interested. They're flirting with you. Leo. Leo is seeing that you're the light in the end of the darkness i feel like this person is going through still going through a lot virgo virgo is her moving on libra libra is falling in love with you guys oh scorpio scorpio is very interested and they want to interact with you they're feeling a strong magnetic spark Sagittarius. Sagittarius is finding it burdening. I feel like they're not able to express themselves. And we have Capricorn. Capricorn is too moody and I feel like they're too insecure so they won't be coming towards you. Aquarius. Aquarius is wanting to work things out and get into a deeper meaningful relationship or uh, moving towards marriage. Pisces. Pisces wants to change things with you. I feel like they think that luck is... Um, on your side they want to you know they see you as a lucky charm they want to be with you say so, yeah, i feel like they want to grow with you that's something that i'm seeing over here very strongly so i will be seeing the charms here Yeah, you have a soulmate and then there is someone from the past. You have to make a decision. Who do you want? Do you want someone from the past as in and out or a soulmate? Someone from the past could be your fire sign. I feel that truth is coming out and you're letting go of it. Someone's name is Uday, Indian name. Mm -hmm. Day... Deja vu. Okay. Okay. These could be the letters of your person's name. I'm seeing you are flying somewhere or your person is someone that you might meet while you're traveling. Okay. We have this. Ooh. I feel this is more like a Cinderella story. I feel you are, your soulmate is right around the corner and you don't uh, know. I feel like your soulmate is like acting like a friend or an enemy, but later on you find out that this is the one. Like a soulmate in disguise kind of a thing. Uh, the green adventuring is talking about prosperity coming. You guys are going to grow when it comes to your work, whatever you're doing. You will be expanding your work. You'll be expanding in your work and I'm also seeing new love coming in. Yeah, when this person comes into your life, your whole life will become magical. And you will be the happiest person on earth. We have R. I'm also seeing red. That's talking about marriage here. You guys will get married or, you know, be with each other for the rest of your life. I'm also seeing someone's surname being Reed. Deer being a spirit animal for someone. Pay gratitude is something that I just heard. Someone's name is Daryl. Okay. I'm also seeing Deed. I feel like someone works for real estate or a builder or, or a law. Is Someone is in law or doctor is also what I'm seeing. Engineer. So these are some options that I'm getting for you. Rest of the things you can find it yourself. Okay. So that is your read. Capricorn. I hope you've enjoyed this read. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel so that i can get more and more of your energy to read for you and we can check out more stuff coming in future as well as like this video comment let me know what's happening in your life and share it on whatsapp i'll see you again with more stuff Bye bye